Hello and welcome to Technology. In the last video I showed you how to overclock your monitor using NVIDIA's control panel. To watch that video, click somewhere on the screen now. As mentioned in the previous video, there is one issue when you overclock using NVIDIA's control panel. And that is, if you want to overclock your monitor, you can't use super resolution. You have to completely disable it. Now this video is going to show you how to get around that issue by using a different piece of software called Custom Resolution Utility. Now if you have already overclocked using NVIDIA's control panel, I'm going to ask you to delete your overclock first of all. So go back into your custom resolution and click the cross button next to it. Go back to manage 3D settings and turn back on dynamic super resolution. Select the options which you want to be enabled and click OK. Apply. And as you can see now those super resolutions have been added to your resolution list and your refresh rate has been set back to the native resolution which is 60 Hz for me. Next we're going to need to download the custom resolution utility software from Monitor Test's website. I'll put the link for this down below. Once downloaded you'll need to unpack it to a location where you want to store the program. Now you have these four applications Double click on CRU to launch the program. Now go to the top drop down menu and find the monitor you want to change. Now down here you have all the standard resolutions it displays and at the top you have the detailed resolutions. These are the resolutions and refresh rates that are going to act as your native configuration. The way this piece of software works is it fools your graphics card into thinking your monitor's native resolution and refresh rate are what you set it as. So here we have your actual native resolution but we now need to add an overclocked profile to act as your native resolution as well. You do this by clicking on add and then select automatic LCD display from the drop down timings menu. It should now display your native resolution. Type in there the resolution that you're after. So mine is 1920 by 1080 perfect. Now go down to refresh rate and this is where we're going to start the overclock. Now I'm going to type in 75 hertz as I know this is the maximum refresh rate I can achieve on my monitor but you may need to go up in smaller increments until you get to your peak refresh rate. So maybe start off with an extra 5 hertz and work your way up. Ok now leave interlace unchecked and click OK. Your new profile will now be displayed in the detailed resolution section. The way this box works is whichever option is at the top acts as the default profile. So to move up your new profile to the top, click on the little arrow button to the right hand side of it. That's now set as your default resolution. OK and click OK. You'll now need to restart. You can do this one of two ways. Either just straight up restart your computer or click on the restart application here. So as mine is a 64-bit operating system, click on Restart 64. That will now restart your display drivers. OK, now that's been applied, head over to Control Panel and go to your display. Change Display and Advanced Settings and go to the Monitor tab. Here you'll be able to select which refresh rate you're after. So as you can see, you've got the two refresh rates that you had, 60 and now 75. Select 75 Hz or whatever refresh rate you manage to achieve. Now that should have applied that, so let's go and test it. Head over to the UFO test website. Again, I'll put the link down below. And as you can see, it's now set at 75 hertz. Now let's head over to NVIDIA's control panel. And as you can see, it's now showing your native refresh rate as 75 hertz. And you can still use your dynamic super resolutions. Problem solved. OK, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, leave a comment below. I have lots more video ideas coming up, so don't forget to subscribe.